simply place your cursor here on any blank line and then simply write DCL. DCL means declare and then take F4. So once you take F4, you will be redirected to this screen where you can see that declaration CL variable. So here uh, with this command, you can easily declare your variables. So now how we have to uh, like how we can pass values to these fields. So here you can see that there is first field is for label. So if you want to put some label for your uh, variable, then you can keep it here. So let's say for now I'm passing it as label one. This is not mandatory. It is just a kind of labeling. Like if you want to lab, uh, label anything to your variable, then you can use this field. But it is not mandatory. You can skip this also. If you are not passing anything here, then it is also fine. Then the second thing is CL variable name. So there is one uh, mandatory condition for CL variable, which is like if whenever you are creating any uh, variable, you have to start uh, that variable with M percent. So for CL variable you, uh, naming, you have to keep M percent as a prefix always. Otherwise it will give error. So let's say we want to create a variable with name where one. So where one is my variable name, but I have to add this M percent also. Otherwise it will not work. Now below to that we have to pass the type of the variable so if you are not aware what type of what kind of uh, variable we can create here so simply place your cursor here and press f4 so these are the type of variables that we can create here first one is decimal character logical integer unsigned integer and uh, pointer okay so as per your requirement you can select any type from this list so one thing is like you can directly copy it and just paste and hit enter or otherwise if you are aware like for decimal we have to put a star DC then you can simply write it here. Now after that you have to select the storage type. So by default we keep this uh, as it is like star auto but if you want to change it then take a four and from here you can select any of this auto base defined. But usually we go with the by default option, which is star auto. Okay, so as this is a decimal variable, so we have to specify two uh, things here, the length of the variable, also the decimal position. Okay. If it is character, then we there is no need to pass the decimal position. So you just simply put the length and then you can declare the variable but here I'm using a decimal value so for that you have to put here the length and decimal position once you fill all these details just hit enter so as soon as you hit enter it will show you the another field which is initial value let's say we have declared this variable but we, we also want to assign some value to in it uh, to this variable so what you can do you can pass that value here so for now I'm assigning the value 1 2 3 4 so at the time of creation of this variable it will also assign this value to the variable so in the program further we can use this value which is 1 2 3 4 okay so we basically we are assigning uh, some initial value to this variable which will be uh, same throughout the program until or unless we change this okay after that you can press page down and there you can see there is one field for the comment so if you want to put some comment for this uh, variable then you can simply put here comment one and then just simply hit enter so this is how the variable declaration look like uh, the one which we have just created here we have one label which is not mandatory but it is always good if you are using labeling then you can pass it here then we have variable name and for every may each and every variable name we have to keep this m percent symbol then we have type which is decimal then we have length and we have value which is one two three four okay this is the initial value if right now if i print this variable then it will show one two three four to the screen another thing we have is comment so this is the comment portion and below to that we are using yeah so this is all about the one which we have created uh, just now so for now i'm deleting it because we are not going to use this variable this is for just for the demo purpose 
and these are the variable that we have already created so let's see what we have put here so just place your cursor and press f4 so this is a one example for character data type so here also i'm using ampersand because it is mandatory i'm not using any labeling here i'm directly passing declaring the variable so my variable name is username then we have uh, data type as character storage is auto and length is 50 so as this is the uh, character variable that's why i'm not using uh, i'm not passing the decimal position and the default value is texture width so i have stored one text here and also i'm not using any kind of comments so therefore it is blank so this is the way through which we can create the character type variable then we have another variable which is numeric so take up four so here the variable name is m person user id so the name is user id but m percent is will be the prefix this is decimal type and the storage is auto but here you can see that we are not passing length as well as decimal position why because we are passing the initial value so if you are passing initial value then it will by default understand like okay so this will be the same length it will consider the same length as we have passed in the initial value so right now it is having three digit number so it will consider this variable as a three decimal variable okay this will be same for character also like if you have uh, if you are passing here star care and if you are passing some character value here so it will count the character and assign the that same value to variable length so if you are not passing this then you have to keep this initial value and but it will not get changed if you are passing three then you are only allowed to pass three digit number you are not supposed to pass the four digit number but this is not a uh, so good approach like you can change this like always try to keep this length so that we will be sure like which uh, type of data and how many length we can pass to this variable okay and then we have we are not passing any comment here so simply hit enter another example is for logical so logical data type or logical variable is just for a one byte character like if you want to store the flag value kind of thing like a zero or one so you can use this logical okay uh, here we don't need to pass any length because it is by default one uh, one character variable so it will take either zero or one this is for flag like if you want to use any kind of flag then you can use this logical variable and below to that i'm simply using the sndpgmmsg command to display the variables uh, so here i'm using m percent character name and on line number 21 i'm using user id with this command you are not uh, able to print the numeric value directly to the, to the screen so for that reason i'm using this percentage care built-in function which will convert this numeric value to character and then we are displaying it if you are not sure what is correct uh, star character function then in our upcoming uh, videos we will discuss like what is these kind of built-in function like how many types of built-in function are there and how we can use it but for now you can just simply understand that we are not supposed to display the numeric value directly to the screen with this sndpg msc command and for that reason i am converting it to character with the help of percentage care function so percentage care then inside the parenthesis i am passing that value which i want to convert and similarly i am printing the logical value because this is also of logical type so we are not able to print that we have to convert it to character here we are not using any kind of function because it is by default character username is character type that's why i am not using any function so now we will compile it and call it you here in the bottom you can see that it shows texture image which is the first value of the variable and you can observe there is one small plus so you can do page down this is the second value again there is one plus i can page down zero which is logical variable and now it is not showing any plus it means we are and in, in the end of the data there is no data above okay so this is how we can uh, display the values in the bottom you can use uh, other commands also for displaying this on big screen 
but for testing purpose i'm using this so yeah uh, here mainly we are dis uh, we discuss what uh, what are the process of declaring the variable in cl program and how many types of variables we have so basically we cover like uh, how to declare the variables from scratch uh, for cl programming so for this session this is all we want to discuss about and in the upcoming session we will cover a few more things so thank you for watching texture myth